Hey guys, Stel here, and welcome back to more Taskmaster Tuesday on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, I have a two-parter task today. I don't know the entire task, which is pretty unusual. Normally in Dreadnoughts, I have to design a ship, and I get to know what the enemy is, what the job is, what the task is. This time around, Brother Monroe, our unofficial Taskmaster, is keeping it a secret. He says, we've been tasked by the Emperor of a faraway land to design a new flagship. Our year, 1920, one battleship, nation of choice. I've decided to go with the Italians. It must be ostentatious and fabulous indeed. It must have spacious crew quarters, advanced radio and maximum range. Otherwise, our job is to simply make the ship as expensive as we can, so we can make more profit that way. Once you have built your ship, click below. Okay, uh, time to start designing then. So, a ship that is 1920, Italians, as expensive as possible. I've set the range to 20,000. I don't know about this. I think we're going to revisit this menu and uh, adjust the enemy. Because right now, I don't know what I'm supposed to set there. Okay, um, as expensive as possible. Let's go with a big ship. Let's go with a white ship. Let's go with a uh, big draft, big beam, extremely high cr highly trained crew. Um... It must have maximum range. Very good. It is 1920s. Going with a high speed is going to get you a really expensive ship. I have access to the turboelectric drive. That is fun. That makes for a very a pretty agile battleship in the sense that you have far more acceleration than you normally do. And on top of that, you also have far more deceleration than you normally do. It also makes the ship vastly more expensive. 329 million. I can push that to oil. I can give them the best auxiliary engine, the best shafts. And I'm not sure if we're going to get torpedoed on this thing, but I am assuming yes. So let's go for an unbalanced rudder to push my turning circle down. Let's get the best steering available. And let's upgrade the armor. Let's upgrade the anti torp, triple hull, survivability to the max. Okay. Now then, ostentatious, ostentatious. We're building a battleship for a far away emperor. Is this going to be feasible? I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm fighting, so whatever. I might go with a double hull. No, doesn't save me that much. Uh, I'm thinking of building a brawler. I haven't built a brawler in a long time. It means I don't need a very high-end secondary tower. A compact secondary tower should do the job. When you're building a brawler, you want some redundancy. So I'm probably going to run two funnels on this ship. Uh, provided I can fit them. Should be able. And now I have about 7,000 7, tons-ish to get some more guns on them. Well, to get any guns on them. Let's see. Let's see, how do you make a ship expensive? You up the speed. Um, <clears throat> you get either a lot of guns or expensive guns. Because this one triple 18, sorry, triple 16 is going to come in at 1800. This is going to come in at 344. So the 16 inchers by far the best price wise. Not necessarily the best gun because it's a Mark 1. It doesn't reload very well. It doesn't fire very quickly. It doesn't have a lot of shell weight. So, ideally a Mark III is just flat out better. At least when it comes to gun performance. Um, yeah, why not? We're going to go for side mounts. I haven't used those in a while either. There's not, no, actually, it's going to make it very difficult to work with this system. Or rather, work within this system. Like, have the most expensive ship and turn it into a roller. No. We're going to do something else. We're going to go for a medium post barbette. Maybe just the standard one is enough. And then push this to the stern. Push this forward. Gun. Gun. Okay. That's problematic. <clears throat> uh, I don't even have barbette armor. I don't have upgrades for my shells. 25 knots, that's better. 
enhanced electrical turrets, especially if we're going to get close. I need to be able to get my guns on target faster. Now, secondary guns. It's a brawler. It is only 1920, so my accuracy is going to be pretty bad. Let's get the most base accuracy bonus that I get. That's Coincidence 4 Rangefinder. Uh, Hydro 3. Oh, and it must also have, what was it, Advanced Radio, I think? That's heavy. Crap. That is heavy. Um, yeah. If I go for induced spoilers, it's just going to make the ship even heavier. I don't want to reduce anything here. I really don't. Reduce this. It's not going to do that much. It's going to slightly put me under the level, but it's okay. You know what? Maybe the 14 inch guns are too heavy for a brawler. Maybe the 14 inch guns have too much punch. Reload too slowly for a brawl in fight. Whoops, didn't mean to remove the barbette there. Um, 12 inches weigh 1,000 tons. 14 inches weigh 1,500 tons. Yeah, right. I didn't think so. That's not going to fit on there. But secondary guns will. An 8 incher there. Could we get a, a tall barbette for a secondary here? That would be nice to have. Yeah, if we push this a bit further, like that, it does mean that the bridge is going to be looking directly at, an, at the back of an 8-inch turret. <laughs> That's their problem, not mine. Uh, put another 8-incher over here. And just put as many 5-inchers along the sides. Dual barrels. Why? No particular reason. Put some fours over there. I think two fours side by side might fit. Yeah, two fives does not fit. Hold on, can you also put fours in there? You can. That's nice. That's very nice. I still have a hundred tons left. A little less even. These things. Oh, these things weigh a thousand tons. Okay. So I can save a thousand tons there. If I go for balanced boilers, we got 100% engine efficiency, that's good. Push this back. Pull this back. Pitch on this ship is remarkably good. I hadn't expected it to be quite this good. This apparently attaches to the turret. Hold on, does that standard thing fit? It does. Don't be like that. Four weight offset, still a problem. We're gonna have to pull this tower far back. That's more like it. Pull this back. Pull the. <laughs> Make up your mind. Push forward. <clears throat> there we go. Ship's perfectly balanced. I still have a bit of tonnage left. And I can use that probably to add a few more guns. And yeah, that's eight tons for armor. What could possibly go wrong? As for type of shells, let's go for TNT three. Let's go for two powder one. Shell type, considering I am relatively close to the enemy, or at least that's where I plan to go. I don't need a ton of pen. So maybe standard armor piercing shells will do like this. I'm fighting 10,000 meter range, 17.6 inches of armor. I currently have 15.1. I'll never, ever be able to pen my own ship. Uh, can I get 6, six inch four and a half? No, not quite. Main deck reduction a little... Three and a half, three and a half. Now, I'd love to have a bit more structure armor. But I'm going to have to sacrifice somewhere else. Also, these secondaries. The secondaries could use a bit more pen. This means the 5,000 meter range, they can pen 8 inches of armor, which means all superstructures are going to be dead. At least that's the plan. These 8 inches here, 
can pan a very respectable 5,000 meter range, 16 inches, 7,500 meter range, almost 13 inches. I like it. Okay, when it comes to HE, blowing away smaller targets. HE shell is going to do 64 damage out of a 5 incher, it's going to do 117 out of an 8 incher, and it's going to do 352 out of a 12 incher. But I think I'm going to go with something slightly better, at least pen wise. So the damage is going to be taking a slight hit. But this means I can pen destroyers. And that's going to be probably worth it. Um, 2.2.7. It's not great against the DD. It's good enough. If you're very close. Here we go. 1.6. That's better. Right. Now I need to still fix this ship because it's too heavy. Save a little bit on the auxiliary engine. Save a little bit on the steering. Don't save on the steering. I cannot adjust this much. Um, standard ratio here. Base fuse, yes, yes, yes. Maybe reduce this. There we go. And then upgrade the main belt. He said enthusiastically and ran right into the limits of the ship. I suppose that is, however, more feasible than upgrading this. Yeah. Ooh. That goes up pretty quick. Okay. Protect that armor or protect that conning tower. Yeah, 16 inches will do. <clears throat> 16 inches will do. Okay, that is the ship. Emmanuel Filiberto. Now, let's reveal the twist. Here we go. Wants to check. Must have spacious crew quarters, advanced radio, maximum range. As expensive as we can. More profit. Once you've built your ship, click below. Unfortunately, the vast expense has caused a civil war. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and the rest of the navy has mutinied and joined the rebels. Okay. Enemy forces. Three battleships, two battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers, a light cruiser, and five destroyers. Our job is simple. Sink the rebels and show that our design is more than just a floating pleasure palace. The winner is the admiral who sinks the enemy fleet with the most structure remaining in the... Quite likely event we don't manage that, then the winner is the Admiral who can take the most total value of the enemy fleet. So add up the prices. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Let's do it. So we're setting up against the Spanish. The Spanish. 1915, they have three battleships, two battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, and five destroyers. This is going to be a bit of a brawl. I hope that these BBs aren't too heavily armed and armored, because I'm not sure I can pen that with this, well, uh, let's call it the Pleasure Palace. With the Pleasure Palace that I have designed. Let's go. All right, what does the AI have for me? They are at least coming up on the Pleasure Palace from the wrong direction. That's not great. Look at this guy, pretty. Wide ass ship there. Pretty wide ass ship. But again, that's the, with the maximum beam and the maximum draft. Beam makes it wider, draft makes it taller. I mean, a free board that I have is insane. Show me the enemy. The enemy says that they're pretty close apparently because I can only do times five. And I have been detected. Okay. Um, this is pretty straightforward warfare. Point nose towards enemy. Push throttled full. That's basically it, because I need to get those 12 inches in range, which is 18.2 kilometers. And I need to get those 8 inches and 5 inches to work against the DD. I would first of all love to see the enemy. That'd be a hell of an upgrade. Hello. What you got? 12 14 inch guns. And nothing else. Two seven inchers and four four inchers. So you're just a straight up gunboat in the sense they only have large caliber guns. Oh, crap, the deck pen. That is not great. What's my fighting range? 18.2. So we should be able to. There we go. Open fire fast. Target has been spotted. 
is a destroyer. Tell me about the destroyer, please. What do we have? We have a gunboat with four inch guns, two of them, one three incher and two two inchers, and nine torpedo tubes. Slow the pleasure palace down and bring all the guns to bear against that target. Because I don't like that target. I don't like that target at all. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to sort of angle away. Rely on the sonar array. Sort of torp wrench you got. Okay, seven, yeah, here. 7.2, that leads me to believe that these might be fast torpedoes. This guy looks like he's flooding badly. Might be able to sink him before he gets his torpedoes away. Go on. I don't trust this at all. Hard star return. First full pen with a 14 inch gun. Come on, get the 5 inches firing. Come on. There we go, that's one of them down. Next destroyer. Eliminate the small guys first. Might be counterintuitive, but I'm thinking that if the Pleasure Palace gets hit by torpedoes, it's going to be far more difficult for me to get up to speed and get into range. And this is what concerns me. Oh, that was a good hit. 12-inch hit. High explosive. Causing serious damage to that destroyer. That ought to kill him, that level of fire. Continue on your turn. Come on. Second DD ought to be dead. Heavy flooding. Okay. Um, flank. Turn. There's the next salvo. Start correcting the rudder. Level her out. Steady as she goes. Starboard. Two degrees rudder. Re steady as she goes. Perfect. Dodge, 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 dodge. I have done worse. The Audaz. Fast torps? No, standard torps. 19 inches. This is a pretty good start. These things are 7.8 million each. Not terrible. 31 knots. Go on. Minimum bulkheads. No standards. Huh. Could have fooled me. You already launched your torps. Let's push back in. Come on. 12 inch high explosive. Kill it. The enemy battleships have disappeared. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> there you go. Flooding. Now this is going to be the third kill of their 5 DD. So they have more. I cannot get too complacent here because they might still be around the corner. They might still be lurking. Battleship. In fact, can I see... Yeah, smoke, smoke. There should be more smoke. Because I'm missing one light cruiser, which will also smoke. Go on, boy. Get in there. We should have enough firepower to deal with the destroyer fairly swiftly. At least you'd think so. That's better. Secondary tower's been destroyed. Doesn't really help me that much. That's better. I need the flooding. Or extensive fire. Either will do. Blow it away. That's more like it. That's more like it. This is your battle cruiser, is it not? Oh, it's one of the older guys. Carrying four 14-inch guns and eight 10-inch guns. In the form of those side mounts. Interesting. Alright. We're still running at flank speed to try and get closer to the enemy. We're gonna go with... Oh, you weren't done yet, huh? Shame it's uh, a bit of an opening there, because I can sail right through that. Do I kill the battlecruiser first or the BB first? Tell me about the battleship. San Eugenio. Cramped crew. 
Okay, so if you start hitting them, they start losing their efficacy. That's good. Slow ships, 21 knots. Armor, 13.5 plus 88. Okay. That's going to be pretty difficult to pen. At least at this range. Because it means that they effectively on the main belt have about 20... Just spitballing, 22 inches of armor. And for 4 and aft, we're looking somewhere in the vicinity of 8. 8 to 8.5 inches of armor. That means that in order to pen that, I'm going to have to get to about 7,500 meter range, which lines up more with my brawling capabilities. These guys, I don't know yet. I do wonder what their chance to pen me is. And I don't know. 22%. Do you guys fire any particularly nasty shells? Maximum AP shells for what you carry? You carry capped ballistic too, so you can probably pen me. I think their battle cruisers are carrying the same shells. All right. How expensive are these boats? Fifty-four mil. That's cute. That's about a tenth. <laughs> That's a heavy cruiser. Show me any visible torpedo tubes. None. Okay. That's not necessarily going to tell me that it's not a threat. It could be a threat. It could very well be a threat. Flooding on the palace. Turn me starboard a bit more. Flow to full. That'll be good enough. The reason why I'm trying to punch holes in the battlecruiser first is because a battlecruiser generally, unless I design it, is slightly worse in protection scheme than battleship. That's the, the ID here. That's the plan. Hold up. You still have a lot of AP ammo. Okay. I need to use time as a resource more during these challenges because I tend to just push right in and get my ass handed to me. So just slow down. It'll be fine. We're going to eliminate this battlecruiser first. They're generally easier to kill. Uh, I will also accept a mission kill. If we can kill the Santa Elena's 14-inch guns, that'll be better. I don't need to sink the whole ship right away. 53 million. Your battleships are 51. No, 54. Okay, crew quarters. Standard spacious. Standard bulkheads. Fairly okay-ish in speed. And when it comes to any special protection schemes, you got an anti turp 3, Barbette 4. It's heavy on the Barbettes. Anti-Flood 2, Citadel 3. Interesting. That makes you more susceptible to flash fires. I don't even recall the last time I have used Citadel 3. Also, these things are even harder to pen. There. Destroyed a main gun. That's a 10-incher. On the wrong side of the ship that's been destroyed. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Your chance to put out these fires, I hope, isn't that good. Because I'm just going to try and burn you down. More damage to main guns, bow and stern. I'm starting to take a bit more damage than I would like. So far, structural still 85. We're fine. Come on. Partial pen, more fires. Republica. What you got? Torpedo tubes, bow and stern. I don't like you. 28 million. Is this penable? No. You probably got a lot of armor. Bow armor. 4.9 with a 97% armor quality. So the armor quality on the Republica is actually better than the armor quality on the Santa Elena. Interesting. Interesting. Bonk. <laughs> See? Deceleration is faster with these uh, turbo electric drivers. Far, far better. Uh, switch guns. We're just going to blow this cruiser away. Before it's going to torp me. Because it probably has a very quick turnaround on the torp. 224, that's less than 4 minutes. They carry 4 torpedoes, so they can make my life more difficult than it needs to be. Maintain high explosive. 
and just blow a couple of holes in the bow of that cruiser and wait for it to flood. Partial. Donk, donk, donk. <laughs> uh oh. What's your turp range? 4 8. So, any moment now, you're gonna torp me. Damage to the main guns. Yeah, surprise, surprise. But if you're gonna turn like that, I'm gonna switch to AP. Starboard turn. Also, they completely negated their ability to launch torpedoes at me. That's a bit of a mistake. Accelerate. It, holy moly, I know this is times three, but still. Damn it. Full ahead flank. Rudder full starboard. Kill this thing. All port guns. Eliminate the Republica. Ow. More flooding. Kill it. It's a pretty easy kill. It's worth 28 million. Get it. The amount of damage I'm taking now is getting far more serious as the... Uh oh. Full turn and slow down. Look at that! <laughs> Shut the engine down. Come on, flood. Flood, 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 flood. Oh, I should use these engines far more often. This is way too fun to play around with. This is World of Te sorry, World of Warships levels of uh, maneuverability. Okay, that's a heavy cruiser down. Can we sink this? And put secondaries on this. Chance to pen is not... Great. 33. 27. Focus on this. Secondaries on this. We're all stopped. It's good. Oh crap, they took out the 8-incher on the bow. Would have been useful. DD is already starting to flood. Excellent. Maintain all stopped. We're not going anywhere. We're a palace. Gonna be treated as a palace for now. Pradera. Not sure how you pronounce that in Spanish. That's the right pronunciation. I'm trying to do right by languages. Oh. Full ahead flank. Star return. Because he just launched torps at me. <laughs> you can't catch this palace, sunshine. You're not having that. Damage to the main gun! Yes, sir! That's it. Destroyed secondary tower. That's not great. Another torpedo salvo on the way. Um, I still have funnel efficiency. That's good. This is a few more torpedoes than I would like to see coming my way. Come on. Acceleration's not really doing it. Having a turn. Also not exactly helpful. Kill the Fradera. All guns. High explosive. More torps in the way. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <gasps> Two? Two. And there's a whole bunch more coming. Kill this. Yeah, that ought to be dead. More torpedoes. My rudder's been damaged, so I cannot turn out of the way. Uh, I can slow down. <laughs> but I'm gonna park right in the way of all the torps. Oh no. Shit. Kill the Almirante. It's an easy kill. I need points. Uh, this is not great. This is not great. Now, I stick to my guns, if you will, on sinking the destroyers early. The destroyer, the heavy cruiser, it's easier to kill than a battle cruiser. And I might not have been able to kill the battle cruiser yet. So, I don't mind that I'm currently working on this. Reverse ship. I should have done that. I should have just reversed out of here. Almirante. Go on. I have the potential to either get an ammo explosion now or extensive fire. Or both. Kill the light cruiser. Structural integrity down to 11%. Fire. Destroyed main tower. 
I've done 23k. I'm not sad about this design. My pens, my chance to pen is still not great. Come on. 20 million worth cruiser. I doubt I have the time to kill it though. Flooding. Needs to do better. 16% chance to pen? A light cruiser? You're building these things out of titanium or what? What is this? Holy crap. That's more like it. I'm down to none. Okay. 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 So, ship stats. The units that were sunk were quite numerous. Let's start doing the math. Uh, I'm gonna round it up to millions. Calculator in hand. This is my ship that's been sunk. The Spanish ship cost 28 million. So that's 28 million. Plus a DD worth 7.8 million. Uh, plus another DD worth 7.8 million. Plus another DD, 7.8 million. And another, 7.8 million. And another, 7.8 million. That means that I was able to sink 67 million worth of shipping. And the rest of these guys all survived. I'm not sure why these haven't been identified, because I thought I had them all identified. But, okay. So, score for me, 67 million. For a ship worth 500 million, that's not a great score. It means I did not break even. The problem is the engine, I feel. Because the engine just makes this ship very expensive. But then again, it was to be built for an emperor. It was to be an expensive ship. And that's what I did. I built an expensive ship. And considering the amount of firepower that the enemy brought, I think that she did quite well. Because she lasted for a fairly long time and was able to damage a lot of the enemy ships and cripple quite a bit of their smaller group. If you want to see how the other guys did, you can see their links down below in the description. They are Brother Monroe, who comes up with all these wonderful tasks, and Spartan Elite 43, who is damn good at designing ships as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the challenge. Do it for yourself if you have the game. And if you have a challenge, by all means, let me know down below in the description. Sorry, in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for more.